Hey family, how's it going? This is your girl Marissa and I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I wanted to come on. Well, at first I wasn't going to come on. I was just going to bake this cake. But I decided to share with you because I know a lot of you have seen this new Duncan Hine perfect size uh, cake. They also have uh, pies. The first time I saw it was at Dollar Tree and I got this uh, key lime pie right here. And of course it was a dollar. Um, I wasn't feeling for key lime and I already had this strawberry cream um, that I had bought from Ralph's for like three something. Um, and I said I'll show you because I'm sure some of you might be thinking whether wondering whether you should get it. So I said let me go ahead and show you the size and how the, um, the ingredients in the packet look. So let me bring this a little closer. I'm not sure if you guys are really seeing it. But it says include 6 inch uh, cake pan and cream cheese frosting. Also the it um, also includes the cake mix. This is a cake mix which is a strawberry cake. This is the cream cheese frosting. And then this is the 6 inch cake that um, I will be putting in the oven. Um, it also calls for a mixture, some water that I don't have yet, I'll get, and then also um, two teaspoons of uh, butter. And I love the fact that this already measures out the teaspoon for you, so I'll just have to cut there. So um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how the cake looks and everything. And um, I may even tell you how it tastes, do a demo of if I like it or not. Um, so I'll come right back. And then um, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the cream cheese yet, but I'll let you know then. Okay, see you later. Okay, my love, so this is how the um, cake came out um, looking. Let me, okay, draw it closer so you can see it. So it looks really good. Um, as you can see, I tested it about four times with the um, knife. Uh, the first two times, I decided to put it back in just for a little bit. So I had it in for, I would say, around 35 minutes. It says on the thing from uh, 34 to 39 minutes. And so I feel that it's cooked. I'm just going to let it cool before I put the frosting on. Um... And I'm just kind of doing the frosting for you guys for, you know, demonstration purposes so you can see the full effect. And then I do think it'll probably uh, taste really nice. So anyway, I'll be back when it cools and I have the frosting on so you can see that part. Alright you guys, so I'm sorry it is a little, it's getting dark. But I wanted to bring back the cake. I did take it out of the container as the instruct, um, instruction said. Um, I know you guys are looking for it to be frosted. So here is the frosting. I did exactly how it's supposed to. And then I tasted you guys. I don't like it. It is too sweet. Oh my God, I'm losing. There we go. That's much better. Kind of lost you guys for a minute. I think I'm still losing you guys. I am so sorry, you guys. I know this is coming out fuzzy. But anyway, um, it is too sweet. I'm one of those people, I love sweets, but I don't like when my sweets are too sweet. Or uh, where it, you know, one part over uh, rates the other part. I know the cake is already probably going to be sweet. Um, so I don't like the, um, when my um, icing is sweet like that. Also, where's the knife, please? Oh, no, the knife is not here. Oh, okay. So I want to cut it out and tell you guys what I thought. So I left it in the um, the uh, cookie sheet, the pan, and I'll let you know how it tastes or how I think it tastes. It tastes pretty good. It reminds me kind of of ne the taste of Nestle Quick. You know that uh, sweet uh, strawberry milk? That's what it reminds me of the color and the taste. But it's pretty good. I'm glad I didn't put the icing on. It would be too much. But this is a nice little cake um, for a couple of people. At least 